you know, opposition bloc. We talked with Shia Nakata. We talked with Shia Nakata. The third round of the U.S. presidential nomination races is approaching. The Republican Party is holding a primary in the state of South Carolina on Saturday. このうち共和党の戦いが行われるサウスカロライナ州はキリスト教保守層が多い地域でこの票をどれだけ獲得できるかが鍵になりますで支持率トップを走るのは過激な発言で知られるトランプ氏ですがまたしても異例の発言が飛び出しました私の後ろにある建物でトランプ氏の集会が開かれますがご覧のように外には有権者の列ができています Because Donald Trump's future president of the United States, and I think he's going to be the best president we've ever had. So, in Iowa, Trump failed to win votes of conservative Christians in Iowa. He finished second in the Republican Party's first House Caucus there. A significant portion of Republicans voted in South Carolina are conservative Christians. We're going to start winning again. You're going to remember Saturday. トランプ氏の戦略の鍵を握る人物を取材しました。マーク・バーンズ・ブッチです。視聴者2700万世帯に上るキリスト教徒向けのテレビ番組の司会を務め、宗教保守層に強い影響力があると言われています。同性婚が合法になるなど社会のリベラル化が進んだと感じるバーンズ氏トランプ氏ならリスト教の伝統的な価値観を守ってくれると考え支持を決断しました Many evangelicals, especially here in South Carolina and around the country are really tired of the the political establishment We really want somebody that's going to fight for Christians Hello South Carolina バーンズ氏はハウスカロライナ州の各地を回りトランプ氏への支持を訴えていますドナルド・トランプ氏は同性婚を否定こうして支持拡大を進めるトランプ氏はサウスカロライナ州でも世論調査で1位につけています。こうした中、トランプ氏の発言をめぐって問題が再燃しました。I'm going to build a wall, and Mexico is going to pay for it, right? Right? This is a Trump wall. This is a Trump wall. Trump is harshly criticized in the comments. The Pope is the leader of Catholics around the world. When a person who thinks only about building walls and not building bridges is not a Christian, says the Pope. And not make bridges. ノンクリスチャンの。去年、アメリカを訪れたエンスジャスティックウェルカムにビジットインアメリカ国民の約 10% そのローマ法王に対してもトランプ氏は反論したのです。トランプ氏は反論したのです。トランプ氏は反論したのです。トランプ氏は反論したのです。トランプ氏は反論したのです。トランプ氏は反論したのです。トランプ氏は U.S. media widely reported the war of words between the Pope and Donald Trump. Now to the war of words erupting between Donald Trump and Pope Francis. Trump firing back tonight after comments made by the Pope. Pastor Mark Burns, a Trump supporter, was suddenly called in by the Trump camp for damage control. Change your schedule. 
Yes. No, no, well, the Trump campaign changed the schedule. Okay. You know, we want to uh, um, help expand the uh, bus behind you. Uh, expand the, uh, uh, the, you know, the Trump message. Burns weighed in on the issue live on CNN defending Trump. We want to make sure that uh, what Mr. Trump said is not taken out of context and what Mr. Trump said is not to alienate the Catholic uh, body and the Holy Father himself. Trump made his own comment on the matter. I don't like fighting with the Pope, actually. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think this is a fight. How will Trump's comments on the Pope affect his campaign? The issue is likely to sway the Republican presidential race. How are things looking in the Democrats' camp? Caucuses for the Democrats will be held in Nevada. The polls show a very close race. The state has the highest unemployment rate in the U.S. Hispanic people represent one quarter of the population. Almost all of the new income and wealth is going to the top 1%. That's wrong. People talk and hear a lot of Spanish in campaign events here. Bernie Sanders' compassionate policies towards the socially disadvantaged, including immigrants, is gaining popularity among Hispanic voters as well. Polls show the support rates for Sanders and Clinton are almost tied. Clinton is also busy trying to maintain Hispanic support. Support for her from this sector had been overwhelming until just recently. A new ad hitting the airwaves today includes this 10-year-old girl, the daughter of undocumented immigrants. <laughs> Here, come here, baby. Okay. I'm going to do everything I can so you don't have to be scared. The Clinton campaign is mobilizing a large number of Hispanic volunteers who, in the Spanish language, urge voters to go to the polls. <laughs> People in Nevada will be caucus on Sunday, Japan time. Well, the race really is in full swing. And Trump has made critical comments against the Pope himself. What could you say to this? If you look at this photograph, Donald Trump was reading from his notes. It was not a slip of the tongue. He had his remarks and comments carefully thought out. So we could say that he had intended and calculated the effects of what he said. More than a few people are critical of the Catholic Pope as being too liberal, including his confession towards homosexuals. Perhaps that is the view among very conservative Republicans. So perhaps Trump thought that by speaking out like this, he would be able to attract votes from such conservatives. But even so, the pontiff is revered by many, even if they are not Catholics. So criticism of the Pope would project as rude and unacceptable, which could Trump negatively. Therefore, we have yet to see whether the latest comments have given Trump a boost or whether his outspokenness has finally made him step on a landmine. It's a big gamble for him in a way. And for the Democratic Party, what would you say about Bernie Sanders' popularity? There's an important survey result. This was a survey by Fox Television, and for the first time in a nationwide survey, Sanders has shown to have more support than Clinton. In December, Clinton was still leading by about 20 percent, but now the results are reversed. Sanders won by a large margin in New Hampshire, the second round of the contest, but it was said that it was mainly white voters who supported him, and his popularity had not yet permeated to the black, Hispanic, and other minority groups who are the support base of the Democratic Party. But his popularity now equals Clinton's in the state of Nevada, 
which has a large Hispanic population. This means that he's steadily winning more support from the Hispanic community. So the outcome in Nevada may serve to give him a major popularity boost among the black voters as well. The outcome in Nevada will be therefore significant in predicting, predicting how things will develop in the future. 